Hi guys, this is Billionaire Mandy. I'm coming to you today with my wash day routine. So if you want to see how I get this done, transitioning style, stay tuned. Hey guys, should. welcome back. So what, quickly, what I've learned over the past few months um, while I was on hiatus. I also was on hiatus, on hiatus from my hair. Um, what I've learned so is that less is actually... I'm going to show you the products that I've been using and that has been really been that, that has been that has been working for me um my wash day routine has become so simple you would not believe it so um i have become a very very good fan of um shea moisture and i think a lot of natural girls um out there if you ask them what they're using for their hair their hair they will refer you to some type of shea moisture products because she really um caters a lot to uh, natural hair and you know they have a really beautiful story at the back of their products I really really love their products um, so I decided to try that by what I shampoo with so for I would say the last year and a half um, if so much I was introduced to when hair care by a friend of mine um, and since she gave me a bottle I have never used shampoo ever again um, which is just like I saw the commercials and honestly I thought it was just for um, white people's hair but because you know sometimes they be like they be throwing in a black girl in there and be like oh it's for all hair types and so, I tried it. a lot of skepticism. And um, I absolutely love this product. Now, I had the, the, the green one the first time. Now, this is my second bottle or my third bottle. I lost count. But this one is Summer Honey Peach. And it's Win by Chas Deans. His um, cleansing conditioner. Now, I'm sure everybody has seen the infomercials. If you were up late and it had nothing to do, you saw the infomercial. It's like a cleansing shampoo. It gets all the gunk, the gunk out of your hair without stripping it of all its natural oils. And when usually when you're finished with this, you, you're good with like a VO5 shampoo. And like you're good to go. The moisture is still there and what have you. So I'll shampoo with that twice. Um, I don't use regular shampoo. I've, I have not used regular shampoo in over a year. And so if you want to ask me about buildup, I don't have any. Um, this is what I use and it really gets rid of get rid of my buildup and then after that I use I do have a lot of different masks so I'll alternate it but I'm gonna show you what I'm using today if you guys want to see another video maybe I'll show you you know what I'll use on, uh, on a uh, and uh, I can't speak today on another day um, also I make my own hair masks so um, it all depends on what type of mood I'm in you know I like to switch things up sometimes when it comes to my deep conditioner because um, I feel like you should switch it up with the deep conditioner. This, however, does not change. I do have the shampoo to this and I probably just use it once or twice. And I'm only going to use it just because I bought it and I want to finish it out. So then after that, I use the Super Fruit Complex 10-in-1 Renewal System. That's like their most popular um mask by Shea Moisture and it's supposed to uh it's a hair mask that helps to hydrate, nourish, softens, um anti-stress, deep condition, revive. Yeah, no lie, this thing works. Like it leaves your hair so and most times a lot of conditioners, deep conditioners you have to leave them for a while. I've been in a rush to where I put this in for like 5-10 minutes and it still feels ridiculously soft. Now today I put it in probably like an hour or to 40, 45 minutes to an hour. I was watching TV, I was watching uh, Chicago PD. <laughs> that and Hawaii Five O is kind of like my favorite shows right now. But um, so I put that in like root in my root and uh, my ends I made sure to coat like my natural hair and then my relaxed ends. And I left that for about an hour and then I washed it out so you want to make sure to wash with hot water um, to open the follicles and open up the hair shaft you know just have everything open so that a deep conditioner can really just get in and do its work and then uh, to to close it off the last this is where the price was the last um, 
step you want to do is your uh, 10 in 1 renewal system this is this is the shampoo to this so I have the set but I don't really use the shampoo um, this is a 10 in 1 renewal conditioner and it pretty much does the same thing um, as this but I guess this one is you know more, more potent and a more thicker consistency um, and then I shamp I conditioned probably like once with this, I left it in for about three minutes and then rinsed it out with cold water to close up the follicles and close up the hair shaft. Um, and then I put it in this towel, which is the step I am right now. My last now. step has been um, an, an old time favorite, the Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioner. Now my sister's natural and she absolutely hates this product because she thinks that it strips your hair and that it, she has a lot of reasons why. So after this bottle, I'm gonna try something else. Um, since she hates it so much, <laughs> you know, the, she uses, um, this product called OBIA. Uh, I really want to get my hands on those. It's like $25 a bottle, but I definitely want to get my hands on those to kind of like try it out. But, um, so this is my leave-in condition. If I show up to it, I'm probably going to do some style. If not, I'm not, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with my hair, but, um, Stay tuned for, I want to do a video on um, the problems and the pains of transitioning. So if you're interested in seeing that, uh, stay tuned. And I'll see you guys in my next video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can put them down below. I really just wanted to do this video to show you what I use in the products that I use in my hair right now. Um, just to keep you guys updated with my progress and what's going on. I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.